positive vibration to you i hope you all are having a positive time at this moment i welcome you to the ever positive network channel where positivity is the order of the day and negativity is not welcome i want to thank in a very special way all the supporters of this channel and just keep doing what you're doing as we spread uh, the message of positivity right across the world now today is a very special day because of the fact that we have a very special guest with us and his name is uh, Milen. Milen, how are you today? Very good, thank you Danny. I'm happy, it's a beautiful Sunday. It's a little cloudy but I feel good. Okay, uh, yes. I choose good to feel to good. You choose to feel good? Despite all, I choose to be feeling good, yes. Okay, that's a good way to go about it. That's right. Could you say hi? to the world in your language. Uh, I'm Adafak, where are you from? I'm from Bulgaria. Bulgaria. A small country, Southeast Europe. Uh, we're north of Greece. Everybody knows Greece. We yes. are north of Greece. Okay, okay. So could you say hi in your language to the world? Dobar den, kakste. Dobar den. Dobar den, kakste. kakste. Yes. I got it right. Yes. Dobro den, kakste. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good. It feels so good saying, uh, saying it. Now, could you tell us about you, a little about yourself today? Okay, um, I left Bulgaria when I was 18, 19. Mm -hmm. Now I'm almost 30, well, almost 40, mm -hmm. you could say. And you, I thought you were going to say almost 13. <laughs> no, I was going to say I'm 39, almost 40. Okay. Um, I went to study at Andrews University when I was a teenager and then I uh, I, uh, I became a literature evangelist mm -hmm. and a Bible worker and uh, I've been serving God ever since and uh, I'm still learning to, to be better for Him. Yes, learning to forgive myself, my shortcomings and uh, just um, forgetting those things that are behind. Looking forward to those things that I have. But about me, love guitar, love mm -hmm. to serve God. I love God, but I'm careful these days how I say that I love God. Okay. Because I'm not the one that loves, it's God who loves me. So it's the other way around. And um, yeah, that's kind of in the show. I've been a minister, a literature evangelist. Um, yeah, guitar player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so you're um, separate and apart from being a literature evangelist, going out uh, to minister to people mm -hmm. uh, through literature and other means in this okay. uh, program. Uh, what else do you do? Uh, well, I have things that are, that you have to do to get by. Like yes. Paul was making tents. Yes. I make doors. Okay. I Great. work on cars. I fix, I'm a hobbyist mechanic. So whenever I can, I do that. I, uh, um, yeah, but generally speaking now, I, I, I work at um, uh, a workshop um, I'm a foreman there, manager you could say. I make wow. beautiful doors um, and we install them along as well as windows. So Okay. Yeah. That's great. You're going places, sir. Uh, as a mechanic, I remember when you fixed my first car. Wow. Yeah. You know, when I came to Canada, you fixed my very first car, sir. <laughs> I want to say thank you Praise for that God, and Danny. keep up the good work, man. Sure, sure. Uh, could you tell us a little about your country, Bulgaria? Because, you know, oh, wow. I would like to be there one day because the aim I have is to travel this world, you know, to explore this world. Well, Bulgaria is an old country, mm -hmm. in some ways older than England and Spain. Uh, what are you saying to me? Yeah, it's older than England for sure. Um, it was, it's a mixture, uh, well, first of all, just like Western European or Western Roman Empire, the Eastern Roman Empire, it's called Byzantine Roman Empire. Okay. You know, we read in the scriptures that the dragon gave his power to the beast and his seat in great authority. Uh, the dragon, of course, uh, was the Roman, the, the pagan Roman church, well, not church, but the pagan Rome, which gave his seat and authority to the papal Rome in the West. Uh, in 538, but in the East, uh, the Roman Emperor Constantine moved the capital to Constantinople, mm -hmm. which means the city of Constantine. 
and uh, it was commonly known as the Eastern Roman Empire, eventually the Byzantine Roman Empire. So we were assimilated into the Eastern Roman Empire. Uh, Bulgarian, uh, Bulgarians were Asiatic, uh, Persian. Mm -hmm. Some people believe they came from Persia. Mm -hmm. um, there was a province in Persia called Bahariya. And uh, many of the historians believe that's where the old Bulgarians came. And uh, in the 4th, 5th century, that's AD, they established, they founded the first kingdom um, where today, today's Ukraine is. Okay. And then um, eventually one of the, there were five sons and this great Khan. They were Khans, not kings. Mm -hmm. And uh, they came into, insulted the Danube, which is with Thrace, the province of Thrace and Moesia, Moesia, I think that's the Roman province of Moesia. They call it Mesia. And um, eventually through wars around seven, eight century, well, seventh century AD. Mm -hmm. uh, Bulgaria is the name was founded in the 7th century AD okay. and parts of the Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire and uh, eventually they grew stronger and stronger and um, they were not Christians oh. but um, and they were a mixture of the, they did not well, they, I think that's what happened in Western Europe as well. I mean, a lot of the barbarian tribes assimilated the people and the cultures that lived there. So mm -hmm. just like the Lombardians and the Italians and the Romans are one. So that way, Bulgarians, Thracians, and even Greeks, people and Slavic people that would live in those lands, they mm -hmm. founded a, a country. And uh, eventually they, um, they established their own alphabet, okay. which is the Cyrillic alphabet. Awesome. That's a famous fact that pretty much all of Russia, most Slavic people use the Cyrillic alphabet. And it was um, under the auspices and the protection of the Bulgarian kings. And uh, the first uh, Christian Bulgarian king was Boris. And uh, he, um, well, he kind of, not forcefully, but that's how it was at that, at that time. So he changed the religion from paganism to Christianity. And, mm -hmm. and then Bulgaria became a, a great empire. And uh, we... You know, we rivaled the Byzantine Empire in many cases. They, they were a lot stronger than the Byzantine Empire and, um, and vice versa. And then we fell under the dominion of the Byzantine Empire. And then there was another resurgence in the 12th, 13th century of uh, Great Bulgaria. It was an empire as well. So, mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, the, the Ottoman Turks came. There was a decline and, um, until the 19th century where actually many countries including western european countries uh got liberated from you know the empires that that used to be at that time the ottoman empire the austria-hungarian empire and uh yeah there was bulgaria had a little bit of resurgence and uh as a rule there's a christian nation but mostly eastern orthodox so okay the the form of the eastern uh catholic church you could say or orthodox so so what's so special about bulgaria you know, I would like to go there as a tourist. So what is so special about there that will attract tourists? Huh, that's a good question. I mean, the very, very, uh, Bulgaria is an old country, like I said. It was part of the, the Greek and the Roman empires. And um, there's a lot of ancient sites you could see. Mm -hmm. And there's also Thrace. That was one of the most ancient people that lived there. Okay. Um, there's some Thracians. Uh, burial grounds and uh, there are a lot of interesting artifacts if you like uh, archaeology and history there's a lot of sites I mean outside of Greece and Rome Bulgaria is kind of one of the richest country for wow. yeah, yeah outside of you know Greece and Italian mm -hmm. I say Bulgaria is way up there of artifacts coins um, archaeological discoveries and it's very rich in that yes um, uh, famous dishes, we, uh, yogurt comes from Bulgaria, as a matter of fact, uh, in scientific circles, it's called Basilicus Bulgaricus, it's kind of a, um, it's kind of the, I don't know, the, the germs mm -hmm. that uh, produce in that, in that part of the, of the world that make the yogurt uh, what is special. And um, a national dish, um, I wouldn't say, uh, we, we do have a lot of pastries mm -hmm. uh, a lot of Mediterranean so it's kind of mixed I wouldn't say there's 
something specifically but plus i'm not a chef per se but um anything with a lot of meat uh, uh, shepherd's pie and meat pies they uh, they um minced meat mm -hmm. um we we do in bulgaria yeah and and it's uh, very much influenced by greek and turkish cuisine. okay yeah and, and and the main languages just two languages uh the main language is bulgarian okay more yeah. bulgarian bulgarian okay. yeah okay that's it that's it it's own language just like yes but Greek. why have you chosen to come to canada it's a choice i made uh when i was uh 18 19. okay i decided to go and study in the united states i wanted to be be a pastor and uh my my life took a little bit of detour i uh, became a literature evangelist i really enjoyed that um, it was a simpler ministry in some cases um, better suited to my temperament and character i like action i like something to the point and maybe i was uh, um, a little bit late and try to serve the church as well as outside the church Mm -hmm. But yeah, I went to study theology and that's why I left my country. That's at Andrews University? Yes, that's right. Yes, okay. Yeah. It's a prominent institution. Very. Uh, yeah. Within the Seventh-day Adventist. That's right. Course. Yes. Um, so I just want to commend you for that. I want mm -hmm. to commend you for that in a special way. Uh, finally, what final words of encouragement, of positivity do you have for especially young people who mm. are fighting to make it in life, struggling to make it in life. What words of encouragement do you have it's a very good for question. the people? I would say don't procrastinate. Uh, meet the problems, the challenges you have face on. Uh, don't be irresponsible. Don't think that you're going to live forever or you have all the time in the world. Mm -hmm whatever god asks you to do today do it cherish the people you have around you wow. uh try to be present you know don't the problems are going to be there no matter what yes. so you don't have to wait to arrive at a certain point before you start living or enjoying your life and mm -hmm. because there's certain people that will come and go in your life you never see them again mm -hmm. uh also learn to forgive yourself mm -hmm. and uh don't depend on your uh, yeah I can, the airport is close by so yes uh you know there's a verse in the bible that says trust in the lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding mm -hmm. so lean not on what you see what you don't see because very often uh, the feelings that you have the emotions that you're going through Yes. are going to betray you and i've been betrayed by them and so this is a lesson that sometimes some people learn faster some not so fast but i would advise those young people just to learn to forgive don't listen to your emotions and just stay focused but don't be too focused and neglect to uh, to to connect yes and to enjoy people that you are with yeah is there a particular uh challenge that you you were experiencing in the past and uh, you were delivered from and if uh, that, that's the case um, how were you del delivered from that challenge one of the greatest challenges you have in the past I'll say that right now I'm going through that challenge you could mm -hmm. say um, in the past maybe my challenge has been not as great as right now mm -hmm. right now my challenge is just trying to move on into a new chapter in my life from being a literature evangelist to settling down to a pastor or pastoral work mm -hmm. but the greatest challenge is uh, because of literature ministry you're drawn closer to God you experience the supernatural you experience God's love you see this great controversy between light and darkness when you when you go and be an evangelist right yes and uh, some of the greatest challenges that knowing all these things that God has showed you and sometimes um, the neglect that you or the, um, how should I say it, the irresponsibility that I, that I have exhibited in my life. Mm -hmm. and my greatest challenge is to, to not look back, just to forgive myself. To forgive myself and to know that 
um, I'm also human. Mm-hmm. I need I need God's grace, like like the next man. And so that's my challenge, you know, just forgiving myself mm-hmm. and uh, looking looking forward, you know, living by faith every day. Yes. And um, I, I think that's a challenge for everybody. But for me, right now, I'm riding the crucible a bit. It's mm-hmm. like. Um, the the challenge is is like when you uh, when you get stuff when you get isolated do you still get excited about God do you still get excited about meeting people about witnessing for Him and staying positive mm-hmm. you know and that's the challenge and I've come to realize that it's not based on feelings you know mm-hmm. it's a principle we're saved by hope yes but hope that is seen is not hope yes but what a man sees what does he yet hope for that's it but if we hope for for what we do not see then do we with patience wait for it Yes, and so that's kind of where I am. Uh, I'm, I think God is making me more mature and seeing that um, it's not, you know, when Jesus was in Gethsemane, mm-hmm. he, he did not see any hope. Mm. He said, "My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death." Yes, three times he prayed to God, "Father, take this cup from me." And uh, not until he was resolved to go through it, then uh, we read that that angel strengthened him. Wow. So. That's the principle, you know, and, and, and the, I was listening to a sermon today about mental health and stuff is isolation. Mm-hmm. And um, this is the other challenge, knowing that when you are in this situation, uh, it's not a sin to be depressed or to going through difficulties. Right. But it's a sin to give in to uh, negativity. Yes. It, that's the sin and that's the challenge. And that's kind of what I'm going through right now. Like Donnie asked me earlier. I choose to f- feel good. I choose to be positive. I choose, even though I don't feel, just when I come from work, put God first, you know? And that's kind of the other lesson that I think we come to a situation where you have to always put God first. And the distractions are so many. Yes. And it's so easy. Mm-hmm. And so I choose even today. Yes. Uh, the righteous men may fall seven times. He stands up again. And yeah, just to sum up. You just yes. uh, choose to continue by hope. Yes, so I realize, as you had mentioned, Milen, that you are a musician, you're a guitarist, and by you God's are grace, also yes. a singer, I noticed as well. And you have a special uh, track for us today. You have a special song for us today. Uh, what's the title of that song? Um, it's called... Um, it's actually written in Bulgarian. Okay. It's called I Will Always Sing. I was to my king. Yeah. And it's an original that original, you had written. Yeah. Okay, so take it away, sir. And it's a, it's a good song. It's just a reminder when you... It just reminded me when, when I... And I wrote it exactly when God gave me victory. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just going to sing it. I will always sing I will always sing Praises to my King, to my King. I will always sing, I will always sing. Praises to my King. Who is in the King? Who is in the King? Be compared to my Lord. He will never slumber, he will never sleep, he watches over me, over me. And I know he has, yes, my heart he holds in his own two hands. Praise the Lord. have it ladies and gentlemen thank you for that original Milan. i thank you for having accepted the invitation to be on 
ever positive network channel, sir. As a matter of fact, how the channel had been impacting you? I, I, because I noticed that you have been watching the channel. Actually, when I see it every time, I, I'm, I'm encouraged. Wow. Yeah, I'm positive, Danny. Wow. I'm, uh, I'm uh, <laughs> what's the word? Um, I'm con um, it's contagious. That's wow. the word I'm looking for. It is wow. contagious, yeah. The right word indeed. <laughs> Thank you very much again, once again, to uh, you know, be on this channel. And I hope God will continue to use you and bless you in your ministry, sir. Amen. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Milen from Bulgaria. I thank you for having tuned in. And uh, please remember now to subscribe. It is free of cost. It will not cost you anything. Like and share once you like this video. And remember to be ever positive, not only in the good times, but also in the bad times. Until next time. God bless you. Tata. Bye bye. Could you say bye in Bulgaria? Dovizhdane. Dovizhdane. Dovizhdane.